Hi, my name is Khaled Dreamly. It's my pleasure to be your instructor for this course 70 412. In this video, we will talk about DHCP scope and super scope. Now that you're familiar with how to install the DHCP server services, let's take a look at how to configure it. The first step in configuring your DHCP server is to create a scope. Before a DHCP server can provide clients with IP addresses, the server must be configured with a scope. A scope is a range of IP addresses that can be leased to a DHCP clients on a given subnet. For example, if you have multiple subnets, each with DHCP clients, you have to create multiple scopes. In addition to IP addresses, a scope can also assign optional parameters to DHCP clients include IP address of DNS servers, Wins servers, routers, and so on. DHCP scope options like network ID, the network ID for the range of IP addresses like 192.168.1.0, subnet mask, our subnet mask like 255.255.255.0, network ID address range, the range of IP addresses that are available, List duration, the period of time that DHCP server holds a list IP addresses for a client before removing the list. Router or default gateway, a, default, a DHCP option that allows DHCP client to access remote networks. A scope name, this is the name of our scope, this is for administrative purpose. Exclusion range, the range of IP addresses in the scope that is excluded from being leased. You can use the DHCP console to create DHCP scope by using the new scope wizard. You can configure the scope name, starting and ending IP address, uh, IP address, address exclusion, and other scope options such as DNS servers and like that. This is my DHCP server. To create a new scope, click right in IP version 4. Sorry. Click right here, new scope, next, the name of our scope, name it scope one. Next, the start IP and end IP address 192.168.1.1 and end 1.50 192.168.1.150 The subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Exclusion range, I will exclude the range from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.1 1.10 List duration, leave it as the default The DHCP option, yes And now the router, my default gateway is 192.168.1.2 This is my default gateway, my router Domain name and DNS, this is my domain name, my net.local, and this is my DNS server IP address, 192.168.1.1. I haven't anyone's server, and yes, I want to activate this scope now. This is my scope, address pool, from 192.168.1.1.50, and this is the exclusion from 1 to 10. Super scope. A super scope is an administrative feature of the HCB server that can create and manage through the DHCB console. Using a super scope, you can group multiple scopes as a single administrative entity.
situations for which superscope are useful. The first, more host must be added than original plan. The second, the network is renumbered. And the third, two TACB servers are used to manage separate logical subnet on the same physical subnet. For example, your network is growing very fast, and a common problem about this assigning IP addresses, your DHCB server cannot list IPs to client anymore because there aren't any. You might think, I'll need to configure the rest of the client with a static IPs or buy a new router. No, this is not the best solution. Microsoft gave us a best solution for this. This is called a super scope. So, when your DHCB server is running out of IP addresses, all you have to do is create another DHCB scope and add this new scope to a super scope. This illustration shows the scope and the super scope configuration to support the multinets on the same physical network, subnet A, as the DHCB server. As we see here, we have scope 1 and scope 2 and scope 3. The group of these scopes named super scope. And we see here the client have 2 to 12, 3 to 15, 1 to 1, to 11. So our server leases these IVs from the different scopes. Why? Because we use a super scope. Now, I want to create a super scope. Before I create a super scope, I must have two or more scope. So, I want to create two additional scopes, scope 2 and scope 3, with IP address 192.168.2.1 and 192.168.3.1. After that, I'll configure a super scope. And this is my DHCB server. This is our scope one. Now we want to add a new scope, scope two. The first IP address is, and the end 150. The same subject mask, exclusion from 1 to 10 and press next list duration as a default the HCB option yes my router is 168.2.2 and press next and this is the domain name and my DNS I'll add 192.168.2.1 I haven't any wins and I want to activate this scope. Create another scope for scope 3. Name it scope 3. Next, first IB 3.1. The end IB 192.168.3.150. Exclusion 192.168.3.1 to 10. 192.168.3.10. My router 192.168.3.2. Okay, my router 192.168.3.1. Wait for validation. Next, I have in twins and activate this DNS. Sorry, this scope. Okay, we have three scopes, and now click here and click on new scope, super scope, 
and this is a new super scope wizard next the name i'll name it super one next and here i can choose my scopes i want scope 1p member and scope 2 and scope 3 next okay scope includes in this super scope finish where is my scopes it's not here it's included in the super scope here one two three so this scope contains scope one and scope two and scope three i hope this informative for you and thank you for viewing